knowledge to the traditional custodians of the land, which are called situated. Of the elders past and present, we extend a warm welcome to everyone who visits our school. We, we acknowledge and show respect for the Aboriginal culture and the heritage and the ongoing relationship the traditional owners have with week this week and I must say the best part of my week this week has been going into each of our classrooms and seeing and watching and listening to our students learning. A really big congratulations to all the students on the level of effort that we're currently seeing in our rooms. I just want to really encourage you this week as we move into next week and say keep up the fantastic work. It's so lovely to be in our rooms that are very settled and children really all doing what the teachers ask, when the teachers ask, and showing the utmost respect, which is just really bucket filling to see in practice with each of our teachers in our rooms. I've seen all of our children upholding our values of pride, curiosity, and kindness. And I really look forward to seeing um, our student representatives, not our leaders just yet. And thank you to those children who are having a go at assembly for the first time their enthusiasm, which is really valued as well, is fantastic to see, so thank you. But they are asking our students this week how they're going to show kindness next week. So almost planning what it is that you're going to do and be proactive about in showing kindness to someone or doing something that's going to be kind. So I look forward to hearing about that. Um, Next week, gonna be a fantastic week again. I can't wait to be visiting some more classrooms and seeing that learning in action. Have a really safe weekend, everyone. Stay well, and we'll see you again next week. Good afternoon, girls and boys. This is one of my favorite times of the year, undoubtedly, because it is the time in the next few weeks where we'll be electing our student leaders. So not only do we elect our school captains and our SRC captains, but also we um, elect people to positions of house captain, house vice captain for all of our four houses, as well as our specialist captains as well. And they're mainly for our grade six students, but for the rest of the school from year one to year six, we also have the opportunity for you to be an SRC representative. So an SRC is fantastic. This year, uh, you'll, if you're lucky enough to be uh, representing your class, you'll have the chance to join one of our fantastic subcommittees. So you can look at education, you can have a look at buildings and grounds and improve how the school operates and looks. You can also be on a fundraising committee or you can be on our sustainability committee, which looks at how we here at Wondong Primary School can be a bit more eco-friendly and help out Mother Nature. So 
There's so many things to look forward to, girls and boys, and those who are going for positions, I wish you all the best of luck. We are very lucky to have so many fantastic leaders at Wondong Primary School in the past, and I'm sure 2022 will be no exception. I'll see you next week, and have a great month. Good afternoon everybody. I hope everybody has had a wonderful week and what an amazing week it's been. A showcase of lots of wonderful learning and lots of really positive behaviour that we are seeing outside on the yard. Now first up, a big shout out to our very, very first attendance winning grade which goes to one of um, our new grades in the school, Foundation M, Miss McCulloch's grade. Congratulations. You received the very first Pugly of the school year. Your attendance has been absolutely outstanding since you started school last week with a 99.5% attendance rate. Now there was no other grade that was even remotely close to that um, attendance percentage, so congratulations. Little Pugly is yours to keep and Big Pugly will be making his way over to your classroom for the entire week. Well done. Now, next thing on my agenda is to talk a little bit about postcards, boys and girls. Now, one lucky student this week has already received a postcard for outstanding behaviour. And how you can receive a postcard is if you do something super amazing in line with our school values of pride, kindness and curiosity. So keep a lookout on your letterboxes. There'll be lots of them coming home over the coming week. Um, house points, which I am going to talk about a little bit now, has seen a big change in our leaderboard from 2021 for those students that are here. This is the very first week that you will see our house points leaderboard and boy is it close. Um, keep doing the right thing teachers, amazing how much um, you have been logging house points so please keep doing that. Um, boys and girls, you can receive house points on the yard or in your classroom or within specialist classrooms anywhere in the school and from any staff member in the school. So remember, always do the right thing and go and seek help from a teacher if something's wrong that you can't fix yourself. A lucky, lucky, lucky last thing that I'm going to talk about is once again a big shout out to our Values Excellence Award winners from Term 4. Mrs Morrow and myself um, have a very important lunch date today with those winners. And for those of you that don't remember how to receive that award, if you do receive a postcard, then you are in the mix for being able to be selected for a Values Excellence Award, which is given out at the very end of the term and nominated by all of your teaching, um, teaching staff around the school. So lots and lots of exciting things to look for. Um, and I'm going to pass over now to some of the grade three, four students who are going to show you um, a little bit more about some changes to our buildings area of yard duty, so up near the main office, around where it is safe to play and where is now considered an out of bounds area. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Look forward to seeing the leaderboard and I look forward to seeing all of you next week. Bye for now. Hey guys, I'm Dylan. I'm Tyler. I'm Holly. It is important to play in the right areas to help to make sure everybody is safe. We have had some changes to the building area, the one at the front of the school near the office. It is important that you listen carefully so you understand where we can play. Let's go check it out. Come on, guys. This is the office area. We should not be running here because it's a walkway, so please don't run. This is where we're going to be walking, so don't run around the sand. This, this is also where you have to walk. The areas I'm going to show you now are all out of bounds, so please don't play here for your own safety. This 
sorry, I didn't think.